All right, my viewers and subscribers, welcome back, welcome back. This is what your lunchtime talk show. Yes, man. I get a little video for the lunchtime, my viewers and subscribers. So, we have a couple of things to talk about. We see where the West Indies great Sir Kirtley Ambrose has indicated that there is a young Shivnar and Shandopal coming through over there in Guyana. Well, he's going to be playing for the Guyana Amazon Warriors. And we're not talking about Tejnar and Shandopal. We're talking about the former under-19 player, Mr. Matthew Nanood. So we're going to talk about a couple of things that uh, Kirtley Ambrose had to say about him. Plus, we're going to be taking a look at the second test match that is currently going on between England and uh, South Africa. At the end of day two, my viewers and subscribers, England, they have basically gone a lead. Yes, man. Um, centuries from two players. So we're going to zoom into all of that, my peeps. So just make sure you watch until the end. All right. So we're going to talk about um, Mr. Matthew Nanood first. So we know that here in the West Indies, we like to put um, title on people. And we like to put, not to say pressure or anything, you know, but um, when we see some great cricketers coming through West Indies, uh, once they would have retired or once they are out of the game, we like to take a look at youngsters and say, well, such and such is going to be the next this, is going to be the next that. Especially if the player looks anything like the, play, uh, like, like the former player when he's batting or bowling or whatever it is. Um, when Darren Bravo came, we heard that he was going to be the next Brian Lara. Right? In all honesty, when he is going out on the pitch to bat, under that helmet, when he comes out and does this, and you know that same thing that Lara does, it sort of look like him, but the run's not really reflecting. So, you know, we would have seen people put title on people on a few occasions saying this man is going to be the next Gale, this man is going to be the next Ambrose, the next Walsh, the next Viva, all sort of story. So, Kirtley Ambrose is here to let us know that um, the youngster Matthew Nanood, he actually calls him the young Shiv. Yes, man, he says that he calls him the little Shiv, little Shiv. And... You know, it's because of his mentality, the way in which he plays the game, his mannerism, everything, according to Sir Kirtley Ambrose, reminds him of Shivnar and Shandopal. And, um, you know, the, the, the youngster, he's going to be playing for the Guyana Amazon Warriors in the CPL. I'm hoping that he will get games, but he's going to, his he's slate is actually a part of the team. Now, um, Sir Kirtley is, 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 is quoted as saying, well, Matthew Nanwood is quoted as saying, and I quote, excited to be a part of the Guyana Amazon Warriors, and I am truly happy for the opportunity. Right? He's, according to him, the aim is to represent Gi um, Guyana Jaguars and the West Indies within the next five years. So, obviously, there is a plan there for him. He has set a plan, and he is working with it, my viewers and subscribers. He is not yet 20 He's probably 19, going to be 20 soon. Um, if he's even 20, he just turned 20 because, you know, he just recently played the Under-19 World Cup. So he has some years to go. So if his plan is to try and get into the Guyana Jaguars team as soon as possible and then break into the West Indies team within the next five years, that is definitely a good plan. And according to him, the aim is to make sure that he is putting in the work that um, will definitely get him there because cricket is what he wants to do and he wants to represent the West Indies. Um, he's saying that, um, you know, getting signed by the Guyana Amazon Warriors is one step closer to realizing or to achieving that goal of representing West Indies. And as I said, Kirtley Ambrose is singing his praises and we know that Kirtley would have worked with him along with other youngsters at the under 19 world cup the other well they were preparing for the under 19 world cup i think he was there as uh, the assistant coach and 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 the bowling bowling consultant so he would have worked with him and you know um it's it, it, you have to do a whole lot to impress sir Kirtley ambrose and guys like those that would have achieved you understand so not saying Kirtley said that he is at the level to really step up and dominate no he was talking about his mindset his mannerism and according to Sir Kirtley, he has the ability to stand and to bat for a long period of time. And I think he's also um, one of those, he's, he's an opener. So, you know, he says the ability is there for him to bat long. And he has a very good mindset. The mannerism is good. 
and you know seems as if he has a big appetite for scoring runs of a playing cricket and in the recently concluded under 19 world cup i think he had score he actually scored a century if i'm not mistaken he's one of three players overall that scored a century in the recently concluded world cup yeah you know so he's definitely definitely a talented youngster just need to find some more some um consistency and when we have these guys coming in at the under 19 level as i would have indicated in a video that i do, did recently i don't want to see these guys um you know playing well at 17 18 19 and then there is a big gap between there and 26 and then we see them come back on the scene in 27 28 trying to make it for west um into west indies cricket because at this stage at 27 28 quite a few of the top cricketers around the world would have already settled in teams and would have had a couple of centuries under their belt we know it's totally different you know but um just 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 to say so as i said i i am not putting any pressure on the young man to say that he's going to be the next shiva or is this or that but if we have someone coming through with that sort of um, mindset that wants to bat long you know west indies cricket is always in the hunt for that i know i know some might say boy i would craig brathwaite um banner um banner and and tejan and chanopal know this youngster it might be too much for the test cricket in terms of of the of the score rate of, of the of the, the, the you know the rate that they will score at but it's always good to see people coming through that um you know appreciate standing up and batting so we're going to keep a close eye on this uh youngster here to see how it goes my peeps so just a quick update on the england versus south africa uh test the england versus south africa test the second test at the end of day two england they are pretty much poised looking good you know we always say cricket don't test cricket don't finish in two days or it's not one inning so we're not giving them any victory or anything like that but we're just saying that they are in a very good position so at the end of day two england they declared on 415 for nine yes man 415 for nine and we had ben stokes the captain getting a century i think that is his first century as captain of the england test team so 103 he got and the wicked keeper batsman ben fox got 130 not out so he was still there when they called it um called in the team of viewers and subscribers so those are the two guys that dominated for england uh captain stokes getting 103 ben fox getting um 113 and johnny Bearstow, i think he got in the 40s around about 49 if i'm not mistaken so um that is what e england replied to to the to to, to um what, what south africa made you guys will remember that South Africa was actually bowled out for 151 and as I said England getting 415. Now in terms of the wickets for South Africa, Nakia he has picked up three, Rabada two and Maharaj has picked up um, two also. So um, South Africa at the close of, 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 of day two they were batting 23 without loss so they have quite a bit more work to do. To make sure that they can um, overall that total or get it as close as possible so they can either try to force a victory or force a draw but very good batting um, by england in the first innings they lost the first couple of wickets pretty early i think yesterday they at the close of play they were 100 and some 100 and a little bit for three so to be able to carry it all the way up to 415 declare is definitely impressive so um, that is how the, the, the test match is going on so far, my peeps. In terms of the 60, we had a couple of games going on today. Night Riders and, and Guyana Amazon Warriors. The males were in, um, in action today. So later on this evening or early tomorrow, I'll definitely give you some information as it relates to those games. All right, my peeps? Big up on yourself.